A snowbound mystery is a mystery that takes place in a closed location. Usually the police are absent, which means the characters must investigate themselves, a situation that inevitably leads to drama. In this video, we're going to talk about 30 locales that would make great snowbound mysteries so that you can write a novel that's certain to knock your reader's socks off. First, let's talk about environments which are quite literally enclosed spaces which no one can enter or leave. How about a plane crossing the Atlantic, a cruise ship, or a luxury train running from Paris to Istanbul? I'm aware that one's been done. If you're writing a historical mystery, there are lots of places that could be isolated enough that the police are unavailable, such as a town on the outskirts of the Wild West, an orchid hunting expedition through South American rainforests, a Polynesian island, or the Australian outback. Even if you're writing a mystery set in the modern world, there are a few places that are still difficult enough to get to that the police won't be immediately available, such as a safari expedition, a science lab at the South Pole, or a base camp halfway up Mount Everest. You could also write a snowbound mystery on an island, on a starship, or on a zeppelin. And I believe it was Chekhov who said that if you have a zeppelin on stage in Act 1, by Act 3, it must explode. Heck, you can even use an actual snowed-in cabin. Mystery is one genre that just loves to go back to the classics. But there's something we need to understand, which is that in Snowbound Mysteries, the police don't have to be literally inaccessible. They could be simply uninvited. You can write a snowbound mystery in which, after the murder occurs, nobody is willing to call in the police, perhaps because by doing so, they'll expose a secret that threatens all of them. You could write a snowbound mystery that deals with a reunion of ex-cons who are all getting together after they're released from prison. When one of them winds up dead, nobody thinks the police will believe their story, so they decide to investigate the crime and punish the guilty party themselves. The same structure would work just as well for a reunion of police officers, each with their own less than savory secret, or how about a reunion of bank robbers who were never caught and punished for their initial crimes. Any community with a secret to keep could make for a great snowbound mystery. This could include members of a political campaign, executives on the board of a high-powered company, members of an organized crime organization, or a bunch of high-level academics who have been cheating on their exams. You could also consider communities that are by their nature a little insular, such as a hippie commune, a small military unit, a religious monastery, or an ambassadorial expedition where the characters find themselves in a foreign and somewhat hostile country. But if I'm honest, there's still a lot of charm to those snowbound mysteries that take place in a truly enclosed environment, one in which absolutely no one can leave. How about a nuclear fallout bunker, or better yet, the president's bunker? We might also talk about biodomes, submarines, or a medical lab that's been put under containment protocols due to the leaking of a hazardous agent. When you're writing a mystery, especially one with an amateur sleuth, you often have to ask yourself, why is my sleuth investigating this crime in the first place? Snowbound Mysteries solve that problem neatly while also giving you a great excuse to visit some really fascinating locations. For 11 more reasons why amateur sleuths investigate, check out this video next.